Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And finally, the Pixel 7a is here. After using this phone for a couple of days, I was impressed by the amount of features it offers over its predecessor, the Pixel 6a. So it doesn't feel like a budget phone anymore. In this video, I will show you what are the new features you will get in comparison to the 6a of last year. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the camera as the Pixel 7a comes with three new sensors when compared to the 6a. Starting with the main camera, the 7a comes with a 64 megapixel sensor with pixel pinning that produces 16 megapixel photos versus only a 12 megapixel sensor in the 6a. And it also gives you a wider field of view as it's equivalent to a 26 millimeter lens versus a 27 millimeter in the 6a. So here's an example photo using the main sensor and you can see how much more you get in the frame thanks to the wider field of view. And when I zoom all the way in, you can see more details coming out of the 7a as well. The ultra wide camera is also better as it has a resolution of 13 megapixels versus only 12 and a field of view of 120 degrees versus only 114. And here's an example photo to show you the differences. The field of view is much wider this time when compared to the 6a, but the extra one megapixel didn't make any difference in the details but at least you can get more in the shot. Moving to the front camera, the 7a comes with a 13 megapixel sensor and a 20 millimeter lens versus only 8 megapixels and 24 millimeters in the 6a. So you can take these nice ultra wide shots in the newer model, which is not possible on the previous one. Also, the higher resolution will give you much more details as shown here in the example photo. So these are the differences in the hardware and how this will impact your camera experience, but the 7a can do even more. So let's open the camera app on both to see what are the differences. The first thing you can do on the 7a that you cannot do on the 6a is the ability to adjust your night sight exposure time. You can choose between maximum or default and the default will give you 50% less time while taking night sight photos and this will decrease the motion blurness. The second difference is the ability to record 4K videos using the front facing camera, which is not possible on the 6a. And finally, the 7a will allow you to take long exposure photos, which was only an exclusive feature to the higher end pixel models. But finally, we have it on the A series. I'm not sure why Google didn't include action pan as well, but at least we have one extra feature here on the 7a that you won't get on the 6a. Now let's move on to the gallery as you will get one more flagship feature that was only exclusive to the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro models, which is photo unblur. So here's a blurry photo for my son. And as you see here, when I go to the editor, I have the unblur option, which is not the case with the 6a. And when I tap on the feature, you will see a big difference in the photo quality. So here's before and here's after, and you can see how much better the photo looks now. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the camera and Google Photos. Now let's talk about the display. The 7a display comes with three major improvements, the brightness, the refresh rate, and the HDR content quality. Starting with the brightness, it produces 1070 nits versus only 876. And those 200 nits makes a noticeable difference under direct sunlight as shown now on the screen but the difference is more obvious in person. Secondly, the 90 Hz refresh rate was one of the things I wished the 6a had when I first reviewed the device and thankfully Google listened to the feedback and finally we have it here with the 7a and for me the higher refresh rate is a must have feature. Lastly, watching HDR content on the newer model looks much better for two reasons. First, the display is noticeably brighter and the colors are more vivid. Other than this, both are the same in terms of resolution and size, but I'm really happy with those three improvements. Now let's talk about what's new when it comes to the battery and the charging. And the only new thing you get with the 7a is the wireless charging at 7.5 watts. And by the way, it doesn't support reverse wireless charging, but it only charges your phone. From my testing, it will give you about 25% of battery in 50 minutes, which is pretty slow. So I recommend using it overnight to give your phone enough time to charge to 100%. The second scenario that I found it to be useful, if you have a wireless charger in your car, it will give you some extra juice while driving, but it's not good enough for emergencies. And it's still better than the 6a that doesn't even support this feature. Now let's talk about the performance and I found the 7a to be more responsive in all scenarios thanks to the newer Tensor G2 
and it also comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM instead of only 6 like the previous version and I will talk about this in detail in my in-depth review for the Pixel 7a so stay tuned for this. Now let's talk about some quality of life features that Google included in the Pixel 7a that you won't find in the 6a and the first one is face unlock that you can find under settings and then security and the privacy then device unlock and when you go inside and put your pin code you will see here that I have the face unlock feature available so I can use it on my Pixel 7a and here's a quick example for it. The second feature is called the clear calling and it was only available on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro models but now on the 7a you can get it by going to settings and then sound and vibration scroll down a bit and you will find clear calling. This feature will reduce background noise while taking phone calls and it works really well for me so you can go ahead and activate it on your new Pixel 7a and enjoy a better calling quality. And lastly, Google added eight new wallpapers under the feathers category that look gorgeous that you can find in the wallpaper and the style app. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features you will get with the newer Pixel 7a and I'm really glad that Google covered all the gaps we had with the previous model and there are a lot more to talk about in my in-depth review so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel to get notified but for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.